Hi, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in today's video we will learn how to create a business email address for free. So let's understand what is a business email address. Business email address is a email address that includes your business custom domain such as like contact at the rate kitublogging.com. So here our domain is kitublogging.com and we have added our custom domain in the email address. But if you use like key to blogging at the rate gmail.com, then in that case, this is a free email address. But if you use like contact at the rate or support at the rate key to blogging.com, then that's a professional business email address. And most service provider charges you for creating a business email address. So if you go to GoDaddy and check the price of business email address, they are charging $2 per month. But you can create this email address for free using the platform called Cloudflare. So first of all, you need to register your domain name and then connect that domain name to Cloudflare. So I have already made a video on how to set up Cloudflare in your website. So once you connect your domain name to Cloudflare, then you can create a free business email address for your website or for your business. So first of all, you need to go to your GoDaddy account or wherever you have registered your domain and then you need to point your Cloudflare name server as shown in this video and after you connected the domain to Cloudflare you need to open that domain here so here we will create a email address so what I can do is just click on the email here and I will click on email routing and here you will see a screen like this and here let's click on get started button here and then you can add a custom email address here so suppose I want to add a email address like support. So here the custom email address will be like support at the rate techlib.in and I can send that email to my own personal email address. So here let me just paste it like contact.techlib at the rate gmail.com. So anyone send email to support at the rate techlib.in it will redirect the email to my own personal gmail address. So let's click on create and continue here. Now it will ask you to verify the email address. So what I can do is just open the email address here and as you can see that Cloudflare has sent a verify email address here. So let's click on the verify email address button here. Okay, the email address is now verified. Now let's click on go to email routing here. Now let's click on the domain here and here you will see um, settings like this. So let's click on add records and enable. So let's click on here. Okay, now the configuration is done and email DNS record is configured and routing status is enabled. Now let's click on routes here and as you can see that the support at the rate techlib.in the email address is registered in our domain. So you can create multiple business email address. Just click on the create address here and then you can set it like contact at the rate techlib.in or inbox at the rate techlib.in so you can create unlimited business email address and then you can verify it and add it to your business email address list or if you don't want that you can also select this option catch all address so if you enable this option so if you are not creating a email address like mail at the rate techlib.in but if someone send the message to mail at the rate techlib.in it also redirect to your main email address if someone do spelling mistake in this email address it also goes to your own email address and if you don't want that you can turn off these settings okay so the destination setting is verified now let's send an email from a different email from here so i will click on compose here and let's add the email address so i will type like support at the rate tackleip dot in and let's subject add it like testing business email address and let's add some random numbers here okay now let's click on send here okay the message is now sent here so let's go to our main email address here and check if this email is delivered to our inbox or not Okay, as you can see that the email address is come to our email box and if I open this, you can see that the message is come to our email box and let's click on here and as you can see that here in the two section, the email address support at the rate So the professional email address is start working now.
here you can't send email back from your business email address for this you need to do some settings in your email app so what i can do is just click on the settings here and let's click on see all settings here now here you can see this option accounts and imports now click on this option send mail as and here you will see this option add another email address so let's click on here now here you can add the email address like support add the rate techlib dot in and let's click on next step here and here you can set the SMTP server so by default it is taking the Cloudflare SMTP server and here you can use this username as support and here you need to add the password so for this you need to generate the password first so to generate the password you can just click on the accounts here and here click on the manage your google accounts now here you need to click on the security option here and make sure to turn on the two-step verification in your gmail account and after that click on the app password now here you need to enter your email address and sign in again now here you need to ask select the app so here in this case i can add like others and let's add like business email address now let's click on generate here and this is the app password so you need to copy this um, code here so let me just copy this code from here now you need to go to the settings here so let's click on this drop down box here and let's add the password here now here you can set the port to 587 and let's click on add account so it is showing some temporary error 404 so let's try again now let's add the email address again here now let's click on next step here now let's add the password that we have generated and let's change the smtp server to something like smtp.gmail.com and let's try this with this smtp server now let's click on add account here and it is saying username and password so let's enter the password again and let's change the username to something like contact.techilive at gmail.com so you can add your own email address here gmail address and then you can add it like smtp.gmail.com and let's add the password here and let's click on add account okay it is now added so let's click on never here now you need to verify the email address so let's click on close window here and let's go to the inbox now it will ask you to verify the gmail here so let's click on the verification link here and let's click on confirm okay now you can use support at the rate techlib.in with your email box so let's go to the gmail account again now let's click on the compose button here and here you can see that from here you can select the support at the rate techlib.in and let's add a email so let's add the email address here and let's add the subject like sending from business email now let's add something like random here and we have selected this message so let's click on send here okay the message is sent now and if i click on the drop down menu the email is sent from the support at the rate techlib.in so let's go to the inbox here and let's check if this email is deliver or not and as you can see that the message is comped and if i click on the message here you can see that the from is from support at the rate techlib.in so in this way you can add your business email address and send email address from your business email address or receive your emails in your gmail address so this is how the business email work and you can create unlimited number of business emails by adding multiple email address here by clicking on this button i hope you have learned how to create business email address for free using the cloudflare platform you don't have to pay any platform for monthly subscription fees you, you can create it for free using the cloudflare so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos like this. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.